Welcome back. This Friday, you can learn more about the future of energy at Ivy Tech's Alternative Fuels and Renewable Energies Expo. From sustainable energy to biofuel science, Ivy Tech faculty and representatives from the energy and automotive industry will be on hand to answer questions. Susan Ely, Dean of the College of Technology, is our guest this morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having us. So tell us a little bit about what is going to be going on this weekend at the Expo. Well, on Friday at the Mall, you'll be able to meet different faculty from Ivy Tech in fields like biofuels, alternative and hybrid vehicles, um, and other types of alternative energies that range from sustainable energies to home automation, integration, those types of things to learn about hands-on displays, what sort of technologies are available, how they can be implemented in the community today. In addition to having community partners that are from around our region who also support biofuels and alternative vehicles and those sorts of uh, opportunities. And how did this opportunity come about with this partnership between the university and uh and or the college, I should say, and these companies? Well, we have been partners with Indiana uh, Clean Cities Coalition for several years now, and they are part of a national Clean Cities Coalition that focuses on consumer education and partnerships between automotive industries and alternative vehicles and regional communities and how they can better implement those technologies to provide a cleaner, safer environment. And talk a little bit more about what kind of uh, sustainable energy things we're going to be learning and a little bit more about the biofuel part of, uh, part of the presentation. Well, some of what you'll be able to learn is about electric and hybrid vehicles. We'll have several different vehicles from the Indian uh, Ivy Tech fleet that are there, uh, including a Nissan Leaf and a Prius, um, as well as some other conversion vehicles that we've done at the college. Uh, in addition, you'll be able to talk to some of the people who are implementing the CNG gas station at the interchange between State Road 38 and I-64 as well as Feral Gas, who supported the initiative for TSC to implement some alternative vehicle buses into their fleet. And quickly, talk a little bit more about what it's like to have students involved in this process, for them to be hands-on through this. It's an excellent opportunity for students to learn, both our own students who participate in developing educational materials and then interacting with K-12 partners who come and visit us that day. It gives students of all ages the opportunity to learn more about the technology that's available to them or potential careers that they might want to pursue. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Susan Ely, for joining us. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right. The Alternative Fuels and Renewable Energies Expo is this Friday in the Coles Community Court at the Tippecanoe Mall. The event runs from 8, uh, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. and is free and open to the public. Well, coming up at the bottom of the hour,